Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, February 28th, 2017. The last day of February. Crazy. For all Western New York news and radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Clouds this afternoon, rain might fall from them. Or not. There's about a 30% chance. And a high near 56. Tonight, more showers are possible with a low around 50. Wednesday, showers and possibly a thunderstorm with a high near 62. What's in the news? State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman and State Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Elia continue to hammer the issue of immigration. They issued a joint reminder on Monday to school districts that under state law, all school-aged kids are entitled to an education no matter their immigration status. They also said that if the feds show up, to call the district attorney's office. 40 upstate New York hospitals and health centers, including 10 in western New York, share almost $23 million in quality improvement incentives paid for by Univera Healthcare in Rochester and its parent company. That story brought to you by Buffalo Healthy Living, which, under a new agreement, will publish news on allwesternnewyorknews.com in addition to its own website, buffalohealthyliving.com. Rose Smith, age 66 of Buffalo, pleaded guilty to possession with intent to distribute fentanyl, oxymorphone, oxycodone, and hydrocodone. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a $1 million fine. Megan McDonald, age 36 of Arondequoit, who was convicted of production of child pornography, distribution of child pornography, and possession of child pornography, was sentenced to 15 years in prison and 10 years supervised release. Prosecutors say that in March of 2015, law enforcement officials spoke to a man who told them he had received images of child pornography from McDonald. Police news. There's a lot of it. A 45-year-old Newfane man was charged Sunday with fourth-degree grand larceny accused of stealing a purse from a Walmart shopper. State police say that Ronnie W. Kleins Jr. took a purse from a shopper's cart while she wasn't looking and left the store. They located him through the woman's iPhone, which led them to his home. James Wilkie, age 67, Remus Nowak, age 47, and Fernando Rodriguez, age 51, all of Buffalo, were arrested and charged by criminal complaint with conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute 5 kilograms or more of cocaine. The charge carries a mandatory minimum penalty of 10 years in prison and a maximum of life and a $10 million fine. A 36-year-old Niagara Falls man is facing several charges, including assaulting a police officer following an incident early Sunday morning. According to state police, troopers initiated a traffic stop on 8th Street in Niagara Falls around 12.45 a.m. for tinted windows. Troopers approached the 2015 Ford, and while interviewing the operator, Ron Bennett, narcotics were in plain view. Bennett was removed from the vehicle to be placed under arrest, but he pushed the arresting officer onto the roadway, police say, dislocating the officer's shoulder. Then Bennett fled the scene. Another trooper chased him and was able to take him into custody finding 10 grams of cocaine and over 32 grams of crack cocaine on him. A 36-year-old Belmont woman was charged Saturday with second-degree criminal contempt after state police say she was found riding in a car with a person who had an order of protection against her. State police records say that Marie A. Halsey was a passenger in a vehicle that was stopped on State Route 19 for an equipment violation. It was discovered that another passenger had an order of protection against her. You can't do that. A 26-year-old Olean man was charged Sunday with petty larceny accused of stealing two cartons of cigarettes from a gas station. State police say troopers responded to the W.W. Vandalia gas market for the report of an unknown suspect who stole two cartons of cigarettes. After a review of security cameras and investigation, Nathan Bilby was charged with petty larceny. Acting U.S. Attorney James Kennedy announced that Jason Jimenez, age 38, Jessica Rosario, age 36, and Ashley Walker, age 32, all of Rochester, were arrested and charged by criminal complaint with conspiracy to defraud the Internal Revenue Service and preparing fraudulent tax returns. The charges carry a maximum penalty of five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. A 27-year-old Allegheny man was charged Sunday with driving while intoxicated following a traffic stop on First Street in Allegheny. State police say troopers stopped Brendan R. O'Keefe for driving with no headlights. While interviewing O'Keefe, they determined him to be intoxicated. He was then taken to the Orleans Troopers Barracks for processing and found to have a 0.10% blood alcohol content. And Erie County Sheriff Tim Howard reports deputies made a number of traffic stops this weekend that resulted in drug arrests. Charged were Antoine Jacobs, 35 of Bradford, PA, Destiny Lloyd, age 29 of Buffalo, Daryl Tate, age 18 of Buffalo, Kerrigan Jimerson, age 20 of Brant, Mark Swantek, age 23 of Brant, and Keith Ronaldo, age 33 of Angola, as well as father-son team 
Stephen Fleck Sr. and Stephen Fleck II, ages 58 and 21, of Youngstown. If you want more on any of those arrests, there's more details at allwesternnewyorknews.com. Now, on to sports! Back home from a disappointing trip to the West, the Buffalo Sabres take on the Nashville Predators tonight at Key Bank Center. Puck drops at 7 p.m. Craig Bacon offers a review of Chaos today. It's a book, not a description of current events. Read the review on All Western New York News. If you're looking for Chaos as current events, meanwhile, you might want to check out the podcast from my show last night. It's on All Western New York News and the All Western New York News and Radio app. All West New York Radio's new track for the day yesterday was Jim Crean's Insatiable. What might it be tonight? Tune in at 8 to find out. Okay, that's the news for the day. For All Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler saying, have a great day.